and welcome to Bake Night with the Backstage Bakers. I'm Amy. And I'm Shannon. And I am a mom who loves theater and baking. And I am a professional artist who's worked in the theatrical industry for over 20 years. Good. We hope our show Bake Night will give you great ideas for your next party. All right. Tonight's dessert is the Funky Papa Monkey Muffins, which is Ooh. banana chocolate chip muffins with Don, infused with Don Papa rum and topped with a flambéed banana. Awesome. <laughs> so let's get cracking. Speaking of cracking, <laughs> you can use cracking rum if you don't have Don Papa or Captain Morgan. So we're not picky. It's rum. Exactly. And, oh, who loves rum? And, wait, who loves rum? Who loves rum? And also, why are we dressed like this? Because pirates love rum. <laughs> Go pirates. These are my kids. So, pirates, and that's my dad, kind of look like a pirate, so. <laughs> it's a family show. <laughs> exactly. It's just don't serve these to your kids. No. Not, not for kids. Not for children. All right. So, how do we begin this recipe? Okay, so this is actually an old recipe of my friend Jen. Um, and so, thanks Jen for the recipe. <laughs> um, I've been making these muffins for years. So, if you do want to feed them to your kids, you don't have to add rum. So, just leave that part out. But, flambéing bananas? Super fun for everyone. <laughs> okay, where do we begin? We begin by taking a fourth of a cup of butter at room temperature. Why room temperature? Because we're gonna cream it with the sugar. So I've got a cup of sugar here, taking, adding the sugar to my bowl, and then you gotta mix. So we're gonna mix this, we're gonna cream this together for two minutes. Now while so, Amy does this, I'm actually going to take the flour, which is a cup and a half of flour, and I'm just going to whisk in <clears throat> one teaspoon of baking soda, because I'm her lovely assistant today. All right, so I've mixed together the butter and sugar, and it's nice and light and fluffy. This is exactly what you want. There's a few bigger pieces of butter in there, but that's totally fine. And meanwhile, I have been mashing up the bananas. This is a great use of bananas that are a little overripe. So these are not molding or anything like that, so they're still great to use, but they're a little past what I need. I like my bananas a little bit greener for eating. So this recipe calls for two bananas. And all of the ingredients for the entire recipe is listed in the description box below and their quantity. While Shannon's matching those bananas, I'm gonna crack our one egg that we need. So I always crack it in a separate bowl because I have chickens and they lay fresh eggs. Sometimes I get two yolks. Sometimes it's a bad egg. So best not to ruin my recipe and crack it in a separate bowl. Okay, I finished mashing the banana. This is about the consistency that you want. It doesn't need to be soup. It still needs to have a little bit of a texture to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna add the egg and then we're gonna mix that in and then we're gonna go ahead and add the banana. Now while Amy does that, I'm gonna get the sour, sour cream ready. And we are just using uh, just a normal full fat sour cream for this recipe because it's a muffin. Do you want it to taste really good? Do you want to slide in the banana for me, please? All right, over here. All at once? Yep. Okay. earlier so that's that flour and one teaspoon of baking soda baking soda we're gonna add in a third of the flour I'm gonna mix it in then she's gonna add in a, um, a total of a half a cup of sour, sour cream. cream all right so, so I'll put in a third <laughs> We've got 
got our bananas and our sour cream all mixed in. It's looking like a dough. That's what we need, right? And we've got one more ingredient. All right, last up is pure vanilla extract. One teaspoon. Well, a little heavy. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. A little extra vanilla is totally fine. Doesn't hurt anybody ever. No, <laughs> not at all. So we've got that mixed in. And our last ingredient is the chocolate chips. Now we are not gonna use the mixer for that. That would be a hot mess. <laughs> that would be a hot mess. So we're gonna take our mixer out. And how much we're doing? We're doing one cup of chocolate chips. And because we've decided to make these boozy bites really small, uh, we're using a mini muffin pan, so we're going to use mini chocolate chips as well. You, if you make bigger muffins, use the full-size chocolate chips, but for this, it gets a little much with the big ones. So they're really huge too. Um, and so this, we're not going to use the mixer, but we're going to fold them in. And folding just means we're going to nice, lightly scoop. So, all right, you go ahead. Yep, go ahead. And we're just going to scoop it around and incorporate it all in to our batter. So, um, but we don't wanna, you don't wanna use a mixer because that could break up the chocolate chips more and then you have chocolate powder. And <laughs> that's not so fun. That's not so good. No. Let me clean up while you're doing that. Perfect. <laughs> chocolate chips folded in and if you can see we've got still some like butter bits and um, along with the chocolate chips and that's great we want that for muffins right. now we just gotta put them in the pan and the easiest way to put them in the pan is one of these smaller ice cream scoops makes it a lot easier than you don't have to use your hands you don't have to use two spoons if you don't have an ice cream scoop though you can use two spoons and just you know do it you want to fill the cups about three quarters full all right start with the first one this looks delicious. <laughs> and it smells really good too. Yep. All right. So we finished baking our muffins and they turned out beautiful. They're delicious. We've, we've also got a plate of them right here for Shannon's part of making them rumtastic. Yes. And I'm going to be using, well, why we named it this recipe, being the rum funky Papa monkey muffins is for the Don Papa rum again. And I just put a little bit into this cute little shot glass. And I have this handy little plastic syringe do jobby that Amy had. <laughs> <laughs> Any parent will have those because when your kids are little, you have to give them medicine with this medicine syringe. So, and it goes up to two teaspoons, which is fantastic. You know how much rum you're putting in your muffins. So those who are a little bit more adventurous, use a teaspoon. But for this, we will probably be doing about half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. per muffin. Because they're yeah. mini muffins too, so that's still quite a bit of rum. Right. And so Shannon work on that. is filling that up, and then she's going to just stick it in to the muffin and squirt. You <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Super simple. All right. And while she's doing that, I get to flambe some bananas. I'm gonna move a little so, further away because I have alcohol in my hands and she has fire. I'm afraid so you're gonna, I think you should move back this way. I will move over, I right. don't want you to be. We still wanna see what she's doing. Right. Now I've sliced up a banana and I also have a telescoping um, <laughs> a marshmallow hot dog roaster, you know, that you have for the barbecue grill and it rotates, super fun. I've put a banana slice on here, and I also have a little container of sugar. I'm gonna dip it in, get it around the sides, then I'm gonna take my torch, and we are going to flambe our banana. You see it getting all nice and golden there, we see it bubbling up, and that's going to make a wonderfully sugar caramelized banana. So then, ooh, see it's ooh. boiling a little, there we go. But it's not, like, this is exactly what you want. When it cools, it will harden and be a nice little crisp, um, a nice little crisp banana, um, caramelized banana for the top. So I'm gonna take my knife and just slide it on. I have a tray here with some tin foil on it and I will put my banana down there to cool. And move on to the next one. 
All right, now I am really impressed with this whole syringe thing into these little muffins because you would think doing a straight liquid into a little muffin would make it just a soggy hot mess. But <laughs> it's not because the muffins are a little drier. Um, that's why we're not using like a cupcake. I think a cupcake would turn into just mush. But since these are muffins, yeah. they really can hold straight rum. Once we've got our cooled banana, you just take and top them on, where did you start These filling? Three. Those are done there? Yep, I'm almost okay. done. So, and we've okay. got our perfect little caramelized banana muffin. I'm holding my hand in front of it. There we go. <laughs> so, all right, these guys are all full. Those are all full. All right, we'll be back in a minute to show you the finish. <laughs> Finished plumbing all of the bananas. We're putting on the last slices. All right. And now it's the, my favorite time. time We're gonna to try it. it. <laughs> awesome. So. All right. So you give it a try. You were head chef on this one. And I wanted to point something out that I learned the hard way: is that you should always use foil liners on your little cupcakes. I made a major mistake of using paper liners, uh, making some muffins one time, and it was pointless. I was just a, it was a completely frustrating. So always use the foil liners. It's worth the extra cost. All right. It's only a couple of cents, and these are amazing. I'm surprised so, the rum didn't seep through anywhere. There's no leakage of that rum that I put in. No, but it is like pudding on the inside. All right. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. No. Wow. Super yummy. Super moist, you can totally taste the chocolate. You can taste the banana in the muffin and on top. And the little crunch of the caramel on top of the banana. Oh, it gives it like a nice super texture. My mother's oh. going to be so disappointed I'm talking with my mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, we're pirates. <laughs> we're all right. They break all the rules. <laughs> I got a bunch to do. So there was a little bit of Don Papa left mm. when I got done up. Yes, what Amazing. happened to the extra rum there, Shan? I think it fell into a glass with some ice. Mm. <laughs> Which I had never tried Don Papa before. So, and it is also equally delicious. Don't waste the rum. <laughs> <laughs> so, no at your next pirate party or get together, enjoy the funky Papa Monkey muffins. They are they're the bomb. <laughs> uh oh. No. Casualty! One oh, overboard! <laughs> Papa Monkeys, be sure to subscribe to our channel and share give us with a friends. Yep, yeah, give us a thumbs up. And yeah. hit the little bell to get notifications for our next episode. There you go. And if you have any questions or comments, anything you really liked about our video, any questions you have for us, we will read all the comments below. So feel free, ask us anything. All right? And, and if you have ideas for other recipes you'd like us to try, we've got a lot of our own, but we're willing to experiment with others. So <laughs> that's a 